David from Walker, New Zealand. I'm doing second year biological sciences and I'm here in Polish London. So I'm just currently walking to Sir Alexander Fleming because that's where our labs take place. Um, I'll catch you guys there. So next to me right now is the Sir Alexander Fleming building. Uh, it's named after Sir Alexander Fleming, which is a Nobel area in Imperial College London for discovering penicillin. But yeah, this is the medicine building. So this is like the medicine building, and it's also the life sciences building for labs. This is where undergraduate lab for biological sciences take place in the first year, second year, and third year. And yeah, let's go check it out. This is one of the labs in the Sir Alexander Fleming building and we're just here today for a morning lab in which we isolate some fluid using a pipette and then we centrifuge to isolate uh, an enzyme in which we're going to use for future labs. So we just got back from the lab and uh, the lab went from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock so we're just currently kind of resting in the common room and there's no one here. So basically uh, my daily routine consists of just waking up at 8 o'clock so I either wake up to study or I wake up to go to a morning lab. And in Adam Pino College, uh, the days are split into lab days, which occur one or so twice a week. And you've got other days of the week where they're just uh, pure lecture days, which consist of two to three hours of lecturers. And you normally have a few catch-up days, maybe just once a week, where you've got nothing the whole day and it's just you know, made for you to catch up on coursework and stuff. Don't worry, I'll be bringing a series of videos towards uh, the YouTube channel regarding uh, the day in the life of a lab day, the day in the life of a lecture day, uh, and the day in the life of, you know, just a catch-up day to make you guys see from an Imperial College London student's perspective what their weekly life is like and not what only daily life is like. And I think that's the point of the new series uh, innovation that Crimson is bringing to you guys all. So I think that's enough information on me for now. Um, I'm quite hungry, so let's just go grab some lunch and I'll show you guys around Imperial College. This is the uh, library cafeteria. It's where normally uh, we have breakfast and lunch. Um, another location is the junior common room cafeteria where all the restaurants are, and I'll show you that in a future video. So we've just got our food. I'll have a quick look over the documents, and we'll finish the food, and we'll head to the library and do some study. So our lunch documents are the question: Why Imperial College London, and uh, do you regret it or not? Um, firstly, uh, I don't regret it, and secondly. I chose Imperial College London because I want to do research on Alzheimer's disease and uh, Imperial College is known for biology and it's known for being good at biology. So I thought this sort of like, you know, academic atmosphere and just sort of these, the, the peer pressure could um, pu push me to my fullest potential for research. The central library has five floors and I'm currently on the fifth floor. It's a dead silence, I don't want to waste the forest. But this is where in the afternoon uh, students come to just finish their work and maybe catch up on during the daytime lectures or labs. Or just finish their lab reports. And it's a really nice place and I'll show you more footage of that in a future video. So here I spent around two to three hours in the library uh, this afternoon just finishing over some coursework and lab work. And normally you'd go to the libraries either in the morning if you have afternoon lectures or in the afternoon if, if you have morning labs and uh, more specific video content will be shown in the future and more specific videos. Uh, re remember to ask any questions you guys have and I'll answer them in the future videos. So we just finished studying in the library so I'm always going to go home and call it a night um, but I'll catch you guys in the next vlog with more specific details on the lab day life and the lecture day life etc.